Pho or pho UK, US, Canada, Vietnamese, F listen, is a Vietnamese soup consisting of broth, rice noodles called bon pho, a few herbs, and meat, primarily made with either beef pho bo or chicken pho, ga. pho is a popular street food in Vietnam and the specialty of a number of restaurant chains around the world. Pho originated in the early 20th century in northern Vietnam, and was popularized throughout the rest of the world by refugees after the Vietnam War. Because Pho's origins are poorly documented, there is significant disagreement over the cultural influences that led to its development in Vietnam, as well as the etymology of the word itself. The Hanoi and Saigon styles of Pho differ by noodle width, sweetness of broth, and choice of herbs. A related noodle soup, Bun Bo Hue, which is a spicy beef noodle soup, is associated with Hue in central Vietnam. History Pho likely evolved from similar dishes, for example, villagers in Van Cu say they ate pho long before the French colonial period. The modern form of the dish emerged between 1900 and 1907 in northern Vietnam, southeast of Hanoi in Nam Dinh province, then a substantial textile market. The traditional home of pho is reputed to be the villages of Van Ku and Dao Ku or Gao Ku in Dong Zan Commune, Nam Truk District, Nam Dinh Province. Cultural historian and researcher Trin Quang Dung believes that the popularization and origins of the modern pho stemmed from the intersection of several historical and cultural factors in the early 20th century. These include the higher availability of beef due to French demand, which in turn produced beef bones that were purchased by Chinese workers to make into a dish similar to pho called Nu Nuk Phan. The demand for this dish was initially the greatest with workers sourced from the provinces of Yunnan and Guangdong, who found affinity to the dish due to its similarities to that of their homeland, which eventually popularized and familiarized this dish with the general population. Pho was originally sold at dawn and dusk by roaming street vendors, who shouldered mobile kitchens on carrying poles gan pho. From the pole hung two wooden cabinets, one housing a cauldron over a wood fire, the other storing noodles, spices, cookware, and space to prepare a bowl of pho. The heavy gan was always shouldered by men. They kept their heads warm with distinctive, disheveled felt hats called mu pho. Hanoi's first two fixed pho stands were a Vietnamese-owned Cat Tuong on Cao Go Street and a Chinese-owned stand in front of Bo Ho Tram Stop. They were joined in 1918 by two more on Quat Ro and Dong Ro. Around 1925, a Van Ku villager named Van opened the first Nam Din style pho stand in Hanoi. Gan pho declined in number around 1936 to 1946 in favor of stationary eateries. Topic <laughs> <laughs> Development. In the late 1920s, various vendors experimented with hung lu, sesame oil, tofu, and even lethocerus indicus extract ka kuang. This pho kai luang failed to enter the mainstream. Pho thai, served with rare beef, had been introduced by 1930. Chicken pho appeared in 1939, possibly because beef was not sold at the markets on Mondays and Fridays at the time. With the partition of Vietnam in 1954, over a million people fled North Vietnam for South Vietnam. Pho, previously unpopular in the South, suddenly took off. No longer confined to northern culinary traditions, variations in meat and broth appeared, and additional garnishes, such as lime, bean sprouts, cilantro, go gai, cinnamon basil, hung ke, hoisin sauce, tuong den, and hot chili sauce, tuong oat, became standard fare. Pho Thai also began to rival fully cooked pho chin in popularity. Migrants from the north similarly popularized banh mi sandwiches. Meanwhile, in North Vietnam, private pho restaurants were nationalized Mao Dik Quoc Don and began serving pho noodles made from old rice. Street vendors were forced to use noodles made of imported potato flour. Officially banned as capitalism, these vendors prized portability, carrying their wares on gan and setting out plastic stools for customers. During the so-called subsidy period, following the Vietnam War, state-owned pho eateries served a meatless variety of the dish known as pilotless pho, pho Kong Noi Lai, in reference to the U.S. Air Force's unmanned reconnaissance drones. The broth consisted of boiled water with MSG added for taste, as there were often shortages on various foodstuffs like meat and rice during that period. Bread or cold rice was often served as a side dish, leading to the present day practice of dipping ki in pho. Pho eateries were privatized as part of doi mua. 
However, many street vendors must still maintain a light footprint to evade police enforcing the street tidiness rules that replaced the ban on private ownership. Topic: <laughs> Globalization. In the aftermath of the Vietnam War, Vietnamese refugees brought pho to many countries. Restaurants specializing in pho appeared in numerous Asian enclaves and little Saigons, such as in Paris and in major cities in the United States, Canada and Australia. In 1980, the first of hundreds of pho restaurants opened in the Little Saigon in Orange County, California. In the United States, pho began to enter the mainstream during the 1990s, as relations between the U.S. and Vietnam improved. At that time Vietnamese restaurants began opening quickly in Texas and California, spreading rapidly along the Gulf and West Coasts, as well as the East Coast and the rest of the country. During the 2000s, pho restaurants in the United States generated $500 million in annual revenue, according to an unofficial estimate. Pho can now be found in cafeterias at many college and corporate campuses, especially on the West Coast. The word, pho was added to the shorter Oxford English Dictionary in 2007. Pho is listed at number 28 on World's 50 Most Delicious Foods, compiled by CNN Go in 2011. The Vietnamese Embassy in Mexico celebrated Pho Day on April 3, 2016, with Osaka Prefecture holding a similar commemoration the following day. Pho has been adopted by other Southeast Asian cuisines, including Hmong cuisine. It sometimes appears as Pho on menus in Australia. Etymology and origins Reviews of 19th and 20th century Indochinese literature have found that pho entered the mainstream sometime in the 1910s. Pham Din Ho's 1827 Han Nam Dictionary Nyat Dung Thuong Dam includes an entry for rice noodles traditional Chinese, Yu Su Bing Vietnamese, Nok Ta Bin with the definition Luo, Pu Fu Vietnamese, La Bon Pho Bo, is beef pho noodle, borrowing a character ordinarily pronounced pho, or pho, to refer to pho. Georges Dumetier's extensive 1907 account of Vietnamese cuisine omits any mention of pho, while Nguyen Cong Hoan recalls its sale by street vendors in 1913. A 1931 dictionary is the first to define pho as a soup, from the word fan, a dish consisting of small slices of rice cake boiled with beef. Possibly the earliest English language reference to pho was in the book Recipes of All Nations, edited by Countess Morphy in 1935. In the book, pho is described as an animese soup held in high esteem. made with beef, a veal bone, onions, a bay leaf, salt, and pepper, and a small teaspoon of nook mam. There are two prevailing theories on the origin of the word pho and, by extension, the dish itself. As author Nguyen Du notes, both questions are significant to Vietnamese identity. <inaudible> From French French settlers commonly ate beef, whereas Vietnamese traditionally ate pork and chicken and used cattle as beasts of burden. Gustave Hue equates chow pho to the French beef stew pot au feu literally, pot on the fire. Accordingly, Western sources generally maintain that pho is derived from pot au feu in both name and substance. However, several scholars dispute this etymology on the basis of the stark differences between the two dishes. Ironically, pho in French has long been pronounced pho rather than pho. In Jean Tardieu's Lettre de Hanoi au Roger Martin du Gard, 1928, a soup vendor cries, pho au. In the street, many Hanoians explain that the word pho derives from French soldiers ordering. Phu fire from gan pho, referring to both the steam rising from a bowl of pho and the wood fire seen glowing from a gan pho in the evening. Food historian Erica J. Peters argues that the French have embraced pho in a way that overlooks its origins as a local improvisation, reinforcing an idea that the French brought modern ingenuity to a traditionalist Vietnam. It is also sometimes assumed that the names of the varieties of pho, specifically pho bo beef and pho ga chicken, are also of French or even Latin origin, as Latin boss and gallus mean cattle and chicken, respectively. But this is an apparent coincidence, as bo and ga are native Vietnamese words. <laughs> 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 
Topic from Cantonese. Hugh and Eugen Guin, 1957, both define pho by itself as an abbreviation of Luke pho. Elucidating on the 1931 dictionary, Guin and Le Nok True 1970, both give Luke Fa as a corruption of Nu Nuk Fan Chinese, Niu Ru Fen Cantonese Yale, Ngau 4 Yuk 6 Fan 2, Cow Meat Noodles, which was commonly sold by Chinese immigrants in Hanoi, is an allophone of L in some northern dialects of Vietnamese. Some scholars argue that pho the dish evolved from Zhao Trao, a Vietnamese dish common in Hanoi at the turn of the century. Originally eaten by commoners near the Red River, it consisted of stir-fried strips of water buffalo meat served in broth atop rice vermicelli. Around 1908–1909, the shipping industry brought an influx of laborers. Vietnamese and Chinese cooks set up gan to serve them Zhao Trao but later switched to inexpensive scraps of beef set aside by butchers who sold to the French. Chinese vendors advertised this Zhao Bo by crying out, Beef and noodles. Cantonese Yale, now Yuk Fan, Vietnamese, Nu Nuk Fan. Eventually the street cry became, Meat and noodles. Chinese, Ru Fen Cantonese Yale, Yuk Fan, Vietnamese, Nuk Fan, with the last syllable elongated. Nguyen Nok Bich suggests that the final N was eventually dropped because of the similar sounding fan, traditional Chinese, fen simplified Chinese, fen excrement. The French author Jean Marquette refers to the dish as Yoc Fu in his 1919 novel Du Village à la Cité. This is likely what the Vietnamese poet Tan Da calls Nuk Pho in Dan Bak, gambling, written around 1915 to 1917. Topic. Ingredients and preparation Pho is served in a bowl with a specific cut of flat rice noodles in clear beef broth, with thin cuts of beef steak, fatty flank, lean flank, brisket. Variations feature slow-cooked tendon, tripe, or meatballs in southern Vietnam. Chicken pho is made using the same spices as beef, but the broth is made using only chicken bones and meat, as well as some internal organs of the chicken, such as the heart, the undeveloped eggs and the gizzard. Noodles The medium-width dried rice noodle that is usually used is called bon pho, but some versions may be made with fresh rice noodles called bon pho tui in Vietnamese or quai tiao. These noodles are labeled on packaging as bon pho tui fresh pho noodles in Vietnamese, xin xian chao jo guo tiao fresh chao jo ku ti in Chinese, wolnam sal gugzu Vietnamese rice noodle in Korean, and quai tay sen lek thin ku ti in Thai. Topic. Broth The broth for beef pho is generally made by simmering beef bones, oxtails, flank steak, charred onion, charred ginger and spices. For a more intense flavor, the bones may still have beef on them. Chicken bones also work and produce a similar broth. Seasonings can include Saigon cinnamon or other kinds of cinnamon as alternatives may use usually in stick form, sometimes in powder form in pho restaurant franchises overseas, star anise, roasted ginger, roasted onion, black cardamom, coriander seed, fennel seed, and clove. The broth takes several hours to make. For chicken pho, only the meat and bones of the chicken are used in place of beef and beef bone. The remaining spices remain the same, but the charred ginger can be omitted, since its function in beef pho is to subdue the quite strong smell of beef. The spices, often wrapped in cheesecloth or a soaking bag to prevent them from floating all over the pot, usually contain cloves, star anise, coriander seed, fennel, cinnamon, black cardamom, ginger, and onion. Careful cooks often roast ginger and onion over an open fire for about a minute before adding them to the stock, to bring out their full flavor. They also skim off all the impurities that float to the top while cooking. This is the key to a clear broth. Nook mam fish sauce is added toward the end. Topic: <laughs> Garnishes. Vietnamese dishes are typically served with lots of greens, herbs, vegetables, and various other accompaniments, such as dipping sauces, hot and spicy pastes such as sriracha, and a squeeze of lime or lemon juice. It may also be served with hoisin sauce. 
The dish is garnished with ingredients such as green onions, white onions, Thai basil not to be confused with sweet basil, fresh Thai chili peppers, lemon or lime wedges, bean sprouts, and cilantro coriander leaves or cilantro. Fish sauce, hoisin sauce, chili oil and hot chili sauce such as sriracha sauce may be added to taste as accompaniments. Several ingredients not generally served with pho may be ordered by request. Extra fatty broth can be ordered and comes with scallions to sweeten it. A popular side dish ordered upon request is han dam, or vinegared white onions. Regional variants The several regional variants of pho in Vietnam, particularly divided between northern pho, pho back, and southern pho, or Saigon pho, pho Saigon. Northern pho tends to use somewhat wider noodles and much more green onion, and garnishes offered generally include only vinegar, fish sauce, and chili sauce. On the other hand, southern Vietnamese pho broth is slightly sweeter and has bean sprouts and a greater variety of fresh herbs. Pho may be served with either pho noodles or khu tiv noodles The variations in meat, broth, and additional garnishes such as lime, bean sprouts, go gai hung ke Thai, Asian basil, and tuong den bean sauce, hoisin sauce, tuong oat hot chili sauce, e.g., sriracha sauce appear to be innovations made by or introduced to the South. International variants include pho made using tofu and vegetable broth for vegetarians pho she, and a larger variety of vegetables, such as carrots and broccoli. Many pho restaurants in the United States offer oversized helpings with names such as train pho, pho zi lua, airplane pho, pho tau bay, or California pho, pho ca li. Some restaurants offer a pho eating challenge, with prizes for finishing as much as 10 pounds kilograms of pho in one sitting. In some parts of the United States, fresh bon pho is not widely available. Dried noodles called bon pho ko are often used instead. Some restaurants may serve bon pho tui fresh pho noodles upon request. Topic: Notable restaurants. Before 1975, famous pho shops in Saigon included Pho Kong Li, Pho Tau Bay, Pho Tau Tui, and Pho Ba Do. Pasteur Street was a street famous for its beef pho, while Hien Vong Street was known for its chicken pho. At Pho Bin, American soldiers dined as Viet Cong agents planned the Tet Offensive just upstairs. Nowadays in Ho Chi Minh City, well-known restaurants include, Pho Hoa Pasteur and Pho 2000, which U.S. President Bill Clinton visited in 2000. One of the largest restaurant chains in Vietnam is Pho 24, a subsidiary of Highlands Coffee, with 60 locations in Vietnam and 20 abroad. The largest Pho chain in the United States is Pho Hoa, which operates over 70 locations in seven countries. A similar restaurant named Pho 75 serves in the Washington, D.C. and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania areas in the United States. In 2011, Tiato in Santa Monica, California, auctioned off bowls of Anchi Pho, prepared with type A5 Wagyu beef, white truffles, foie gras broth, and noodles made of rare blue lobster meat, with a starting price of $5,000. Proceeds benefited Children's Hospital Los Angeles, Children's Hospital of Orange County, and UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital. <laughs> Related dishes Aside from pho, many other Vietnamese dishes require pho noodles, including stir-fried pho, pho zào, pan-fried pho, pho ap chow, pho spring roll, pho goon, and sour pho, pho chua. Other popular Vietnamese noodle dishes include boon riu, boon bo hue, another beef noodle soup, boon cha, hu tiu, boon tit nun, and mi quang. <laughs> See also